Now that the three of us are all grown up, mom likes to think of herself as one of the sisters. And so since today we're honoring her, maybe we won't tell her it's about mothers and we'll tell her it's the sister award. One of the qualities I love most about my mom is her heart. She's such a loving mother and a good friend and so involved in the community. She gives back and has always taught us to give back in the community and support local businesses. She is very present and has always been very present in our lives, my sisters and mine. Um, she definitely puts family first. Barbara absolutely leads by example, or, or should I term her Babby? That's her new moniker given to her by our grandchildren. Um, she has been participatory probably in every charitable and philanthropic uh, organization in the city and has really read, led to the top. Um, she's also uh, succeeded in business with her own company and, and other companies that she's been on boards of, showing uh, our girls that you can succeed at anything and, and learn how to add sustainability to all of these organizations and, and businesses. Growing up, I can vividly remember my mom always actively volunteering and actively participating in, in different charities and nonprofit organizations. And that always stood out to us. And she always emphasized to us how important it was uh, to give back and that we were fortunate enough to, to have what we had and to live in such an incredible community. And with that privilege came the responsibility of giving back. And truly each of us today are, are very involved in, in different things and I think it's from the impact that she and my father made with us growing up. Uh, giving back is very important to my parents um, and they have definitely instilled that in my sisters and I. Um, they value honesty and fairness um, and, and really don't tolerate anything less. One skill that not a lot of people know that my mom has is um, she embraced technology head-on 20, 30 years ago when nobody really even knew what a computer was and how to do it. She just, without any fear, just took it on and she knows more about computers than anybody in our family and I've always admired her for that because this sort of uh, computer generation did not pass her by. All right, you want a funny story? I have so many I could tell you. The only problem is, is that the audience would laugh and I would get in trouble, so I'm gonna pass. My mom felt this strong sense to raise my sisters and I to be these lovely young ladies. And my dad would come home from work and get us all riled up. She would yell, Alan, I'm trying to raise these girls to be young ladies and you are teaching them to be wild Indians. She loves Barry Manilow. One time we took her to a concert and through some friends we arranged for us to go backstage and she always said, I can't wait, one day I want to meet Barry Manilow and then we finally got back there and she was catatonic. Couldn't speak, just nervous and had nothing to say to him. Well, Barbara has many special qualities, but the one that stands out in my mind most is her priority in life is our family and, and it was the raising of the girls. And I would say, without question, she would be termed a participatory mom involved in all aspects of their lives. But what was really special is that she added to that values, community service, giving back, and spirituality. And so far, so good. She did a damn good job. And what's even more special, it's being passed on to our grandchildren. My mom has been involved in so many organizations. Um, she does not ever sit back and have been there, done that kind of an attitude. She is definitely active in organizations that mean something to her and mean something to our family or mean something to this community um, and has taught me to do the same. One thing that my mom has taught me that I really want to pass on to my children 
is the importance of longevity of relationships. She really nurtures all of the relationships in her life, um, her marriage, her, the relationship she has with us, with her friends, um, really doing everything you can to foster them, to keep up with old friends and, um, and family and keep them close. And that's something I really want to pass on to my children. Someone once described the way she mothers us perfectly to me. They said it was as if we were given the perfect road map. You want to get to Houston, you get on I-10 and you go straight there. And that's exactly what it was. Because the way she mothered us is the way that I want to and try to mother my own children. One thing we haven't talked about is what an incredible grandmother my mom is. Um, she has nine grandchildren and she's very involved in their lives. She adores them. They adore her. Um, their faces light up when they get to see her. She, she doesn't miss a game. She comes to Dallas for Grandparents Day. She, um, she's just a really big part of their lives. Well, babe, congratulations. Uh, Mom of the year, my wife of 45 years, and my best friend. I love you very much. Congratulations. Mom, I want to thank you for being a wonderful mother. I am so glad that we get to honor you here today as a Lifetime Motherhood Achievement Award. Um, I knew you had that before they gave it to you, but um, I'm glad we get to do this in such a public forum. Congratulations, and I love you. Congratulations, Mom, on this very well-deserved honor. I am so proud of you today, and I am proud of you every day, and I love you. Mom, congratulations on this wonderful Lifetime Motherhood Achievement Award. Um, I am so glad that we get to honor you today and that everybody else out there can know how much we love you and what a wonderful mother you are.